we're going to go ahead and get started. And as the other ones joined in, they can um, ask their questions. Your, this is a Riverside and United Riverside Area Water and Sewer Improvement Community Design Meeting. Uh, Dina Johnson is your project manager, but we have Tony Shalola, our um, water assistant water director, standing in for her. We also have our consultants from uh, Dunaway and Associates. We have Brian Sharib, and I think we have Jasmine. Yes. Jasmine Benegas. We also, it looks like we also have Council Member Martinez online with us. Would you like to say anything, Council Member? Oh, sorry. Um, hi, everybody. Just here to hear about the project and uh, get a better idea of uh, all the uh, improvements that are going to be occurring. And I believe it's Vintage Riverside and uh, United Riverside. So just to be specific. Thank you, Sally. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Tony. Yes. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Again, my name is Tony Shinoda. I'll be filling in for Dina Johnson today. Our consultant is uh, Brian Shui from Dunaway Associates. I'm not sure if Jasmine is with us or not, but I, I think I see Brian online. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, okay. everyone. All right. Good evening, Jasmine. All right. So basically, uh, project project for today. We have an agenda. We've done the introductions. We're going to go over the project review, a project area. We're going to cover frequently asked questions and timeline on the project. So typically, we get asked, "What? Why are we doing this project?" So for most of our projects in the water department, we prioritize replacing water and sanitary sewer mains that have a high risk of failure. And the risk failure is determined based on available data we have that consists of water main break history, the leak history. We have crews that TV the lines, so we have a closed circuit TV of all our lines, the age of the line, the material of the line, lead surface lines and cast iron lines. So basically the driver for most of our water department capital improvement projects are on this project, we will be replacing cast iron water mains in Van Horn Avenue, Borley, Borley and Street, I believe Borland Street, sorry for a mispronunciation. We've got water main to replace on Ennis Avenue, on LaSalle Street, and on East. 12th Street. So, why is the city of Fort Worth Water Department replacing cast iron uh, water mains? Firstly, to address frequent main breaks. As most of you are aware, we have frequent breaks all over town for some of our old cast iron uh, lines. So, to that effect, we're committed to replacing 20 miles of cast iron water mains every year. For this physical year, we would have replaced approximately 22.5 miles of cast iron water main. So we're a little bit ahead of uh, what we promised to deliver. So the area to be impacted by this project is the project is in District 11, and uh, construction will impact United Riverside Neighborhood Association and the Riverside Alliance, and I believe that's uh, what uh, Ms. Martinez said. On the landmarks, especially in, uh, include Andrew Duck Sessions Community Center, Russia Earl Williams Elementary School, the West Fork of the Trinity River, in uh, Harper Park, and uh, Luella Bales Baker Park. And the boundaries on the streets are East 4th Street to the north, South Chandler Drive, South Reader Street, and Riverside Drive to the east, Gibson Street and South Sevilla Avenue to the north, North Sylvania and South, uh, 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 and South Sylvania Avenue to the west. We will be replacing water and sewer mains south of the Trinity Rail Express on Van On within the limits shown on Bolling, 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 Bolling Street, on the limits shown from Van Horn to Gibson, 
Ellis Avenue from South Junkins to Marlin Street. We'll be doing water sewer replacements on the South La Salle Street, also on 12th Street from South Savannah to Marlin Street. We will be doing sewer main replacements, not of the 20 Rail Express, in the alley between Port Street and Galvez Avenue. Also in the alley between Paradise Street and Bolin Street, as shown on the map. We will be replacing sewer main in the alley between Port Street and Galvez Avenue, in the alley between Paradise Street and Bolin Street. Also, let's see my map. Okay. Also, we're replacing the sewer main in the alley between Chaynard Street and Port Street. In the alley between Chaynard Street and Port Street from South Chandler to South Jodkins Street, as shown on the maps. We'll be doing sewer main replacements on First Street from North Chandler to North Jodkins. And in the alley between First Street and Chaynard Street from North Chandler to South Jodkins Street. So some of the frequently asked questions, people ask, uh, will the water main be turned off? Typically, water will be turned off for 15 minutes when service is transferred from the existing service line, which is currently what we're going to dig up to replace, to a temporary water line. And when the service is transferred from the temporary, so the temporary line to the new, newly installed line after it's passed all the necessary tests. These switchovers are typically done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. That is when water service will be interrupt, uh, interrupted. The transfer basically typically takes about 30 minutes per house or business. So another question is, how does a temporary water line impact my own or water bill? So the temporary water line, the te purpose of the temporary water line is to ensure that these, uh, residents and businesses stay in water, have water service during construction. And in the summer months, the continuous flow will keep the water from becoming stagnant in the line, in the above ground temporary line. During the, during the winter months, when we have a construction meeting, we will ask, ask residents to keep their process driven a little bit so that the temporary line keeps having flow goes through it to prevent it from freezing. So that's why we have the comment for customers to keep their faucets driven in an attempt to keep the water main from freezing or the temporary water line. The bill for water usage during or while pit folks are on the temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. In other words, during construction after the temporary water line is installed, Residents will not get a water bill. The bill will be based on average of previous month's usage. And two people typically ask, will access be provided to property during construction? Most of the water, water sewer replacements we're going to be doing will be installed in the streets. If, if the city or the contractor needs to access private property, you will be contacted. And if we need access, Probably a city line agent will be contacting you. Next question typically we get is will sewer service be in uh, disrupted? For this type of projects, we typically do not interrupt sewer service, but we will be installing new sewer sanitary sewer cleanouts at the property or easement lines. These cleanouts, as you see in the picture, they facilitate uh, easy access. Into the into your, to show to your property and to the city's main in the event of a, a backup or blockage to try to locate what the problem is. Now the question is: Will folks have access to driveways during construction? When we get to the construction phase, we, a city inspector will be assigned, and both the inspector and the contractor will work with businesses and residences that need access during active construction hours. But for the most time, uh, for the most part, access will be provide, provided to all businesses and all residences. And 
Will the city's trash pick? Uh, will the city will the city trash truck pick up my trash and recycle? So basically, the way this goes is if this if the, it depend on the side of the streets that's closed on a scheduled trash collector day, the contractor will take the trash and recycling carts parts to the opposite side of the street. So trash collection vehicle can pick it up. The timeline for this project currently, as stated previously stated, this project is in the design phase. So after the uh, after design is complete, the project will be ad advertised for a bit. Uh, con the, uh, the contractor will be will be uh, recommended to council for uh, for approval by council. And once that's done and all the proper documents are in place, we will host a pre-construction meet meeting with residents and the contractor, uh, contractor where the start date will be, will be announced and the schedules will be presented. So the, the community, this construction meeting will be held with residents and businesses before the contractor breaks ground. So to get more information on the uh, project, you can go to www.hotworthtexas.gov and type in the project number 2723 in the search bar on the homepage. Riverside and United Riverside area and water and sewer improvements will pop up. To get project break updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to a PDF of this PowerPoint and a link to the YouTube video of this presentation will be posted to this project page shortly. And to, to report an emergency or non-emergency or emergencies, whether it be water main breaks or sewer backups, and that's 24 hours a day, please call 817-392. 4477 and select option one. For water uh, for non-emergencies, please call the water call center, which operates from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And that number is 817-392-4477. And the uh, water call center is closed on city holidays. So you can also download my Fortwood app from the App Store or Google Play to report sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leaks, water theft, water violations, lack of water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns that may come up. So again, the project team for this is uh, Dina Johnson, who I'm representing today. She can be represent, uh, she can be reached at either of those two numbers above, 817-392, 7866 or 817 991 at dina.johnson at And again, our engineering consultant is Donnywell Associates, represented by uh, Brian Shuid and Jasmine. And thank you for attending this uh, presentation today. And uh, please feel free to have any questions that you may have. Okay, we've got, um, it looks like Julie and Jansen. Do you have any questions? Okay, does anyone, we'll open the, okay, she said not at this time, thank you. Okay, does anyone else have a question? Just unmute yourself. Okay. Okay, um, as Tony said, we will probably have the um, PDF and the YouTube video of this posted no later than uh, next Monday. It'll probably be posted on Thursday, on Friday, I'm sorry. Tony, anything else? Nope. All right, thank you all for attending. Thank you. Thank you guys, have a good evening. Thank you. Good night. Yep.